Morning. How are you feeling? All right. Was there a match on Saturday? Did they win? Who? City. 2-0. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Kidding. Linda, um, I've got a migraine. It's blinding me. You'll have to get cover. I'm going home before it gets worse. Are you all right to drive? I I'll get home all right. Don't worry. Sorry, Linda. Thanks. I'll leave the towel out here. I've, I've got a bit of cheese. Do you want a toasted sandwich? It's great. I'm starving. <laughs> what? I will put my law within them and write it in their hearts. That's what he said. Read his word. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Then the people who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. Go in through the narrow gate, because the gate to hell is wide, and the road that leads to it is easy.
need to defrost that fridge. Tell me Dad to come round and sort it out. Oh, he came round last week, swearing and cursing. I told him I won't have that language in this house, cheeky bugger. <laughs> Do you remember the day I was born? I do. You were beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful now. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You'll find some girl, some lovely girl. That's all I want. I want you to be married and happy. That's the house of the Lord. It's not a church, not a temple. It's man and wife and children. It's the children. That's all you need. I'll see what I can do, all right. It's no wonder you get driven to this, because nobody's listening. They'll believe in spaceships and crystals and feng shui, anything but you. So you end up preaching on street corners and spreading the word of God on the top deck of a bus. I'm sorry. And finally, Jack Kendrick from Toxteth, Liverpool, placed a £10 bet at odds of 25,000 to 1 that the second coming would occur within his lifetime. And today, William Hill bookmakers agreed to pay him £250,000. Brilliant! Stephen Baxter is all right with me. Bless him! That's what I say! Bless him! You are becoming gods. There's a new master of creation, and it's you. You've unraveled DNA. You're five years away from building your own people, and at the same time, you're cultivating bacteria strong enough to kill every living thing. Do you think you're ready for that much power? You lot? You lot, you cheeky bastards. They've taken him off Stan ITV. He swore. Two o'clock, BBC One. He swore. 
You're running around science like kids with guns, creating a new world while the world you've got is stinking. Go on, hands up. Hands up anyone who thinks you've got it right. <laughs> yeah, there's always one. I can see you. If you want the position of God, then take the responsibility. And I'm like you. I've been you. Knowing it's all going wrong and doing nothing about it. Keeping the head down. Giving a quid to charity, signing a petition, talking about it down the pub. Laughing about it and doing nothing, even now. Right now, I want to do nothing, I want to... Go home, shut the door, and pretend this isn't happening, but I can't. I can't. Because I was born the Son of God. And the Son of God came once before and gave you a testament, and you ignored it. This time, there'll be a third testament. A new foundation for the way you live your lives. And the third testament will be written by you. You've got five days. In five days, the third testament will be delivered to me and we start again. Every country, every religion starts again. And don't, don't argue. All you Christians out there, don't go around saying you were right and everyone else was wrong. Forget all that, all those divisions, all that history, all that bollocks, forget it, it's gone, forgotten. It's starting again from scratch right now. Because you've got to. I've seen it. You stupid, stupid people. I've seen what you've done. It's finally happened. Heaven is empty and hell is bursting at the seams. If you want anything, just give us a shout. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fine, thanks. Sorry. What for? Anyway, um, I've been appointed as liaison, which just means if you want any food or a phone call, if you want to contact your family, just do it through me. My name's Sue. Uh, nice to meet you, Sue. Must have been amazing surviving that. My mum's got the explosion on tape. She's been playing it all night. What was it like? Weird. But how did you survive it? Was it really a miracle? Because I don't know what he is, Steve. But he's not half clever. <laughs> he's a bit good looking too. Do you think? Oh, yeah. Look at him. All that power. And out of all the people in the world, he brings you here. What do you think he needs you for? Just company, I think. 
It's got to be more than that. Why? Just asking. Oh, don't start on that again. Of course I'm not doing interviews. What, do you think they're going to put me on the cover of Heat? No, I'm not. It's ridiculous. He's suffering. He's, uh, he's here now. Do you want to speak to him? Fiona might be your last chance. No, it's nothing to do with me. It is, though, because we've all got to write a third testament now. Garden. The kids are in bed. Garden. <sighs> I mean, love. I put that at the top because love's important. Thou shalt love. You don't need thou shalt anymore. Well, then, just love. And under that, I put kindness. Like, everyone's got to be kind to one another. Right, and how's that going to work, then? Hold on, because then I wrote family. Yeah, but it's not just writing it down, is it? You've got to be able to live it every single day. Do you think you can do that? Look, Fee, I'm sorry. I I've got to go. I'll phone you tomorrow. <clears throat> Friendship. It works for me. She's really cool. Come on, play some more. Shut it. The only hope for the world is to go back to the Old Testament. That's what we need. A vengeful God. Blood and damnation. Swords of fire smiting the sinners, are you? A God of power and wrath making us obey. Because the beauty of Stephen Baxter is that he proves the existence of God and he proves the existence of the devil. And there are devils walking amongst us right now. And they look like us. And they talk like us. That's the enemy. That's the fight. Johnny Tyler. I know. Why do you think I brought you here? To keep you safe. No, it's a. It was just. I was starving. No point in worrying about cholesterol. Not now. You should have said. I'd do it for you. That's what I'm here for. I was. I was just closing down and. What? It's you. <laughs> I mean, it's you. <laughs> I've been looking all day, but they won't let us look upstairs. <laughs> you're Peter Gupta. <laughs> I mean, you're really him. I. I can't believe you're right in front of me. <laughs> you're my favourite. I've, I've got you as my screensaver. Get off. I have. I think you're gorgeous. Don't be daft. No, I do. I've been watching you. I think you're gorgeous.
I'm only saying if, if Johnny's right, if the devils do exist, what can they do to us? Seduce you. But how are they going to do that and what for? What happens then? I don't know. Poor old Frank Baxter. Imagine, his wife said, I'm seeing another bloke. He said, who? She said, uh, God. He said, uh, when do you see him? She said, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He rests on a Sunday. <laughs> he said, well, what's he got that I haven't got? She said, he's the creator of all things. He said, he didn't put them two shelves up in the kitchen last week, did he? <laughs> Laughing at you, Frank. Laughing out loud. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't normally do this sort of thing. <laughs> the son of God's arrived, eh? What's normal anymore? Oh, I've got you. <laughs> Try one of these. Works like magic. Why don't you and me just run away? Scotland or... I don't know, a beach in the middle of nowhere so that whatever's going on, we can work it out together. I can't. With me. I could get you out. Sorry? I could do it. I could get you out. I love you, Pete. I bloody love you. Yeah. I could do anything. You and me. Go anywhere. You're famous, Pete. We could, we could have anything. Any Steve, think about it seriously. I'm not trying to stop you. I'm just trying to give you time. Why do you want us out? I'm just trying to help. It's what I'm here for. Why? Because you deserve it. Why? She's the only one in this building talking any sense. Why? Because you two, you should be together. Um, we're not together, not like that, we're not a couple. But you should be, cos it said on the telly you've been friends for years and years. And you went off and got married and things, but you kept on coming back. And here you are now. You're always with him. Why don't you want him? But that's none of your What's business. What's wrong with him? Look at him. Just look at him. Why don't you want him? I think you should go But he's now. here. He's right here in front of you. And you know him best of all. What's stopping you? What do you keep waiting for? That's got nothing to do with you. The only way to defy it is to answer her. Why don't you love him? <laughs> I know all about you, Pete. Mm? <laughs> Your sister's little girl. Mm? Autistic. The autistic little girl, yeah? Uh, poor little thing. Steve can make her a better. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. He can make her perfect. Yeah. We can do it. Yeah. We can do it. Yeah. Demand it. I demand. Your sister's good. Yeah. Use him. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Because it said on the telly before he disappeared he'd gone out with you. It said on the telly he'd kissed you. Did he? Did he kiss you? You kissed it and you ran away. Why did you do that? Why run away from a kiss? You kissed the son of God. You kissed the virgin. I'd run away. Just look at me. Never been kissed. I'd run so fast. Don't you want to kiss him again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Pete, please, eh? Pretty please. Do, do it for me then. Ask him for me. Hmm? No. Please, please. please. I said no. Do it for me! Hey!
Oh, well done. She's just lost. She's just lost. All right, stand back. Here we are again. That's better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. 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 It's all one of me, thousands of them. Well, what do they want? I don't know. I'm going to start charging you a quid for every time you say that. Uh, if I knew everything, then I might as well be the Old Testament God that Johnny Tyler wants. You don't I say that know. on telly, though, do you? On there, you're all powerful. It's do this, do that. What do you want me to do, then? Read minds? You don't know your own mind. First you don't believe in me, then you want me to be God. Right here, right in front of you. So what have we just seen then? Right here, right in front of us. Are you saying she was evil? If you like, yeah. I don't like, no. All right, let's all just leave it. But you've seen them! Because I've seen loads of them, yeah, and maybe they're sick and weird and lonely, but that's our fault, because they're the people that don't fit in, there's no room for them. We don't even want to look at them, but that's not the devil driving them mad. That's us. But that's what I'm saying! And they're not just mad. Because that woman made sense. I'm like your best mate. I've given up everything for you, and what do I get back? Why can't you help our sister's kid? Why not? Oh, I've told you! But you've seen her! She's autistic! You've seen her growing up and you still won't help her! You won't help anyone. What sort of God is that? All right. Join that kid better. No, that's enough. Come on. Do you? Is that going to make you happy? Yeah. All right, then. You said you wanted it better. You can't do that. Oh, you don't believe in me, but now you believe I've just performed the miracle. Make your fucking mind up. Steve, you can't do this. You promised you wouldn't. All right, she's back. What? Oh, you bastard. Now you want her better? Now you want her back? What have you done? That's a kid. You're playing with a kid. You want one thing, then you want something else, then you want something else. I can't do it all. Then don't play God. I'm trying to make the best of this, and all I get is you like that, like that, like that. So what are you going to do to me, then? Shut me up like that, that, that. No more miracles, you said, then it's that, that, that. Go on, shut me up. Do that. And what if I do? Go on, then! Sorry. Okay. Everyone now, just get to bed. Let's just. You're on telly. He's always on telly. Judgment Day. They've taped us. If there's no Third Testament, then it's Judgment Day. Armageddon. Death. Armageddon. <laughs> 